Teacher, I think you don't need to teach me today's lesson. Uh, why? Because I've taken a look at the topic for this lesson, and it's about invert functions. <laughs> I mean, that's so simple, right? You simply invert the function. What? Invert the function? Yes. For example, the invert of 2 is 1 over 2, or the invert of 3 is 1 over 3. So, invert functions would simply be 1 over f of x. <laughs> it's easy peasy. <laughs> well, you're right about one thing and wrong about one thing. Which one would you like to hear about first? Uh, how about one I'm wrong about first? There's no such thing as invert functions. It's inverse functions. And inverse functions are nothing like what you just described. Aww. Okay then, uh, what am I right about? You are right that inverse functions are easy. In fact, you have been using inverse functions for years, probably since primary school. Seriously? Yes. The first few inverse functions you've met were additions and subtractions. Oh. But I didn't even know what functions were at the time. But now you do. Yes. Given a specific input, a specific output is produced. That's right. <laughs>